It, it was great to hear from you. Me and Mike, we've been on pins. I didn't mean to cause you any anxiety. Oh, not at all. You can't make a decision like this lightly. And I really haven't. I've been agonising. But I have decided to go through with the abortion. Oh, I... I see. I'm sorry. No, no, you've got to do what's best for you. I would never dream about lecturing you on the rights and wrongs of a termination. Our offer was never about that. I know. We just wanted to give an unwanted child a loving home. And ourselves a family we'd always dreamt of. It was like all the pain and heartache suddenly made some kind of sense. I don't know what to say. That you are absolutely sure. Not only could we save you from the stress and potential guilt of an abortion, we could also provide for your future as well as your child's. With that money from us, you could have real security. What money? Look, I, I know what you and Mike have been through. Uh, with respect, you don't. Every year that passed without a child, every miscarriage, every failed fertility treatment, we felt like failures. Like we'd offended God in some way. It, it, it's not that simple. God... God moves in mysterious ways, ha has wonders to perform. We've been waiting all our lives for some wonder to materialise. It's, it's like we're praying to nothing but a void. Until now. Until we met Summer at this point in the life. Look, you can't tell me that that's a coincidence. I can. And I am. Look, I wish I could help you, but I just want to move on from this. Summer has had an exceptionally difficult few months. And we can help. She can have as much or as little interaction with the child as she wants, and, and with the money from us, she can make a fresh start. Just, just, just stop. Think about what you are proposing. Purchasing a human being, buying their life. We're well, just trying to protect God's sacred gift. I mean, I thought you of all people would see that. I, I, I think it's time you left and prayed for guidance. Summer, please don't rush into anything rash. The decisions you make now, you will have to live with for the rest of your life. Enough. Please go. I should have known that she'd be upset. No, it's really not your fault, but I... I think I need to go to the police. There's no need for that. No, like, whatever my views are on abortion, haggling over a human life is unconscionable. Whatever my views are on abortion? So you still think that what I'm doing is wrong? No, Summer, wait. Please, just... You're right. It's a bit chilly for old fresco reading, isn't it? Thought it might clear my head a bit. Hey, let me know if you fancy another one of my special coffees. Turns out our Todd's a bit of a prude. Uh, I'm not a prude, right? It's just. Uh, do you know what? Never mind. And actually, if you're offering delivery service, then I'll have. Um... Tuna mayo and brown? Hey, I've got a system. So it's Todd, tuna mayo, George. Grilled bacon. Yasmin's a bit of a head scratcher, but oh, it's collection only as well. It seems I have lost my ability to surprise. Oh, well, I haven't, apparently. <laughs> Billy thinks I'm making the wrong choice. This is difficult for him. <laughs> Obviously, not as difficult as it is for you, and he knows that. It just. It's part of what's worrying him. You're so young, and this is a massive decision. Oh, and religion has nothing to do with it. It complicates things, I'm not going to deny that, but you are his number one priority. And any reservations that he has, they're just because he wants what's best for you. I'm just going to have to give him a bit of time to get his head around it, yeah? If he thinks that me choosing to have a termination was easy, then... He doesn't, I promise. And he will hate himself for making you feel any worse than you already do. Catch you later.